right. Well, wrinkly green screen, dusty ass office chair. You already know it's an ATB gaming news video. So uh, how's it going, guys? I'm Alex. Um, real quick. Yesterday for me was insane. Um, I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video because I don't want to rush through it. Uh, I'm going to get to the news that you guys probably clicked on this video for. So I'll just get to that right away. I wanted to talk about the PlayStation 5 pre-order mess. For as bad as NVIDIA launch yesterday was with the 3080, uh, which I, if you haven't seen that yet, I got a video up in this area somewhere that you can click on to, to check that out. It seems like Sony might have kind of made things worse. If you're not familiar with the, the whole scenario, basically what ended up happening is that Sony PlayStation 5 pre-orders went live, but they went live in the most... They went live in about the least convenient way possible. Back in July, and I'll put it up here, but back in July, there was a video, uh, one of the heads of Sony and a, and a reporter, basically the guy from Sony was telling everyone back in July, like, hey, people were already lining up to pre-order the Sony PlayStation 5. We don't know where that came from. Um, I'm just gonna roll it here. <laughs> Gamers are very excited about PS5. I think we saw even this week, there were rumors that, uh... Pre-orders were happening and the Twitter lit up. I don't know where these rumors start, but I have to ask you, like, is are, are you about to press the button now for pre-orders? Like, yeah. when can we expect to get our PS5? No, de definitely not now. We, we don't know what happened there. We had nothing to do with it. I got a, a message from someone saying people are lining up at stores, and, and, and we had no idea why. Um, so I, I think it's safe to say, you know, for all of your viewers, we'll let you know when pre-order will happen. We will let you know it, it's not going to happen with a minute's notice we're, we're going to at some point let you know when you can pre-order playstation 5. so um please don't feel like you have to go run out and and line up anywhere until you receive official notice on how that'll work so um i don't know how that happened don't know who did it wasn't us though so. and boom as you can see they had promised that you wouldn't just get like no notice with these pre-orders. And in fact, they set up a web page where you could go sign up to get an email as soon as pre-orders went live. Well, then literally the day of their most recent event where they talk about games, they ended up tweeting that pre-orders will just go live tomorrow, like out of nowhere. Um, so they completely contradicted the way they announced we're going to announce it. Uh, the people who did sign up for email alerts just never got one. So, yeah, you know, Sony is uh, is in the hot seat because now it's the same the same awful shit that is happening with the RTX 3080s. If you go on eBay, you'll find PlayStation 5 pre-order, you know, confirmed shipping, whatever bullshit going at two to five times the, the retail price of the Sony PlayStation 5. I don't really know what it is this year that all of a sudden, like we can't just figure out how this should work by now. Obviously, whenever there's a, a product that's in demand, it's it's gonna have shit like this happen. You're gonna have scalpers, you're gonna have all this kind of nonsense. It, we never we never not, you know, see that happen. But I, don't, I just don't get why these companies can't manage to, uh, to set expectations realistically, and then when they do set them, at least honor them. I mean, Sony, you guys told everyone what to expect. You made a website for it. And then somebody on your Twitter just completely cucked every single person. So um, yeah, really terrible move on Sony. It, it sounds like Sony is trying to, to ease the tension by announcing that they are gonna have more, um, more PlayStation 5 units available at the holiday launch of everything than there were when the PlayStation 4 launched in 2013. So if that's anything to go by, it's it's really good news. Everybody was concerned about shortages and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna have to just see. But I think um, I think it's just one of those things where Sony, you had you had the right way of going about it. Uh, you fucked it up, and now Xbox is over here, kind of kind of laughing at you guys a little bit. If you guys are planning on pre-ordering, if you manage to get a pre-order, let us know how that went for you and let us know what you're thinking. If you're gonna go back to eBay, please consider just waiting. Um, it's tempting, I know, especially if you're like really wanting it, but just wait, don't let the scalpers win. Don't let them win, because that's that's what they'll do. If they, if they sell, then that's that's how that works. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the Sony news of the day. So what I wanted to talk about, because it's it's just, it's killing me not to just scream about it. My my channel, guys, it went from 
62 subs that morning to, I think it's at 6.28 thousand. Um, I don't know how that ended up happening, but sincerely, thank you guys so much. Like, I can't even begin to explain how grateful I am for all the comments and the positive feedback, even some of the negative feedback. Like, guys, like, holy shit, that's uh, that's wild. So, um, I, I have tried desperately to reply to every single person's comment because it's, if you guys don't know anything about me, my hometown was like 190 people. So to have so, you know, 6,000 people subscribe to me is just ridiculous. Um, I couldn't keep up with, with you guys. So, uh, that was one of the most amazing nights of my life. It started out with a really shitty morning with the failure of the 3080 launch. Um, but it, it became super memorable, uh, by the end of it. So I want to thank every single person, like truly that chose my channel that chose my video for some reason. Um, it's, it's amazing. I even had some people who, uh, are actual tech YouTubers that I watched that I have actually watched videos from and been like, damn, that guy's got amazing B roll or this guy's got really good way of doing this. And it's just like, uh, it's insane. Yeah. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to Nick from gear seekers. Like, dude, I, Ooh, when I saw that, a friend of mine told me like, Hey, yeah, I saw some, some YouTuber or some comments were saying like some YouTube guy, uh, recommend you. I don't know if it was you, but, uh, holy shit. Thank you for like watching my video. That's awesome. So, um, yeah, guys, I, uh, I, I can't thank you all enough for this. This has been seriously just overwhelming and just unbelievable. Um, I, I, want to tell everyone thank you like a hundred times over but i just feel like i can't say it enough so uh one last thing you know just a reminder if you guys want to see more too come over to uh to the buddy system i'm gonna have probably a lot more content coming there regularly but i guess hey maybe i found my niche with this whole you know uh ranting bullshit about companies that i wish paid me to speak nicer about them, but we're going to probably cross that bridge one day. We'll see. Um, that's it guys. That's, that's really all I got to say for right now. I'm, I'm extremely tired still. I was up late watching and reading these comments. Uh, so again, thank you to every single person. Like it's just unbelievable. Uh, stay tuned for more, uh, follow all the shit down in the description, you know, Twitter, uh, other channels, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, we will see you guys next time. All right, bye everyone.